Welcome to Dream Reader. Most have no concept of the idea that our thoughts, desires, emotions, and intents create our reality. This is typically known as co-creation. In our lower vibrational experience of this third density earth plane that we currently reside in, co-creation is designed to manifest very slowly. And with all the lower negative thoughts and emotions being expressed by so many humans on this planet at this time, slow manifestation of co-creation is a very good thing. Imagine the total chaos we would be experiencing here if co-creation manifested quickly. The new earth, which resides in the fifth density, resonates on a much higher vibrational energy level. Co-creation is manifested much quicker within those higher energy levels of consciousness. And this next dream touches on a symbolic scenario referencing to that quicker manifestation after I enter into the new earth. This is a fairly recent dream that I have logged in my journals on September the 22nd of 2021. attractive, wise-looking middle-aged woman with shoulder-length salt and pepper-colored hair came walking in my direction. I realized that I knew her. I trusted her and I liked her. There was an atmosphere of earth changes in the air, as if we had been discussing that topic. She came close to me, face to face, and spoke two words, land changes. With those words came a sudden download of information. I saw quick visions of different areas around the continental USA. Everywhere I went, I saw flashes of rivers and chaos. I wondered what might cause this. I had a sudden flash of information come to me regarding lowlands rising and highlands lowering. This was causing the rivers to crest and flood in some areas. It was also causing rivers to change paths, and some rivers were even changing direction. The scene changed and I found myself standing near the edge of a shallow cliff, looking down across another land mass. The cliff dropped off at a very steep angle and stood about 15 feet high. There were several other people mingling around at the top of the cliff with me, most that I knew. A man was also standing with me, who I will call Thomas. There was conversation taking place between us regarding scaling down the wall of this cliff to enter into and observe the land below. And it was at that moment when I came to realize that there was something very unusual about this other land. I felt the strong sense that it was unique in some sort of a powerful way. Most people found it fearful to even think about entering into this new land. They would stand at the edge, gazing across the land below, but afraid to cross into it. Thomas and I found it to be very curious, and we eventually decided to scale down the cliff and enter into this mysterious land. I will refer to these two land masses separated by a cliff as the Old Earth and the New Earth. The Old Earth is the land we currently reside in in this third density, and the New Earth 
is the new mystical land below on the other side of the cliff. The scene jumped and I found myself standing in the new earth. I could feel a powerful shift of energy there. It looked and felt very similar to the old earth in many ways, but it was also very different in other ways. I wasn't quite sure how to take this at first. But after spending a short period of time there, I felt the sense of curiosity beginning to grow within me, and I wanted to observe more. Thomas and I found an old dingy backhoe. We talked about starting it up and playing around with it. I noticed a major part of the machine was missing. It was a part you needed to work the shovel with. But we decided to play with it anyway. I climbed inside. I suddenly began to feel a sense of a unique ability on this new earth. I felt that you were able to make things happen in ways that you could not on the old earth. I looked to see a large object lying on the side of a hill. It was about 15 feet long, silver and cigar shaped. Thomas and I noticed it was lying on the old earth side, close to the edge, and we wanted to drag it over to the new earth side for some unknown reason that felt very important. Once again, I realized the sense of unique abilities here. I looked down at the floor pedals. I understood they were forward, backward, and brake pedals. But I decided that I wanted them to be shovel pedals so we could drag this cigar-shaped object into the new earth. I began to use the pedals and I was pleasantly surprised to find that whatever I intended for the shovel to do, the pedals responded, and that action would happen. We eventually pulled the object over to the new earth. I realized that when I was finished using the shovel, I could change my desire or my intent, and the pedals would then drive the backhoe again. I thought that was an awesome ability to be able to do here on the new earth. I wondered what else might be possible here. The scene jumped and we were back on the old earth, standing on the edge of the cliff. Thomas started talking about leaving the old earth and moving to the new earth permanently. I realized that would be a very bold move. You could bring a few small things across with you from the old earth, but you would have to leave most of your things behind. It would be like walking away from everything and starting fresh from square one in this new land. I wondered how many people would be able to do something like that. Not very many, I imagined. But on a positive note, with the powerful abilities you would possess on the new earth, rebuilding a new life would manifest very quickly, and the end result would be even better than it was on the old earth. I understood that this new land was in a higher density, and co-creation would be manifested much quicker in this new mystical land. I decided that this was a no-brainer and that I was also going to move to the new earth permanently. The scene jumped, Thomas and I had moved to the new earth. I noticed there were other people that had recently made the move here and that others had been here for some period of time. The energy in this place was much higher. It was peaceful, and the people here were very friendly and kind. There was no anger or division in this new land like there had been on the old earth. 
I begin to feel a powerful and overwhelming sense of excitement with this move. I walk to the edge of the cliff and notice that someone had installed a ramp, which would make it much easier for those who might choose to enter into the new land. I saw a large group of people on the old earth side standing next to the edge, gazing with curiosity at the new land below. I realized that I knew many of them, and I could feel their fear of crossing over into the new earth. This was a very powerful dream experience. It was not a fanciful fairy tale that I created in my mind for my own personal entertainment. I was there, and I could clearly feel that in the dream. This was a very real place, and I was there in a very real, powerful, and literal sense. The experience was so realistic and it had such a powerful effect on me that the feeling of amazement and wonder continued to linger with me for the rest of the day. It physically felt like I had been someplace wonderful and someplace amazing. Intense energies of dream messages like these always convey a strong and clear sense of truth. As I was at work the following day, surrounded by so many folks caught up in this lower energy system, I typically tend to end up feeling a bit frustrated by the day's end. But not on that day. I knew I had been someplace very special and very real, and I just plain ass did not care. They were stuck in the old earth, and I had experienced the higher energy of the new earth. I felt uplifted and raised above their lower ways of thinking. I actually felt sad for them as I realized how lost and controlled they were in this lower energy physical world. And so there is no doubt in my mind that what I experienced was a glimpse into the new earth. And it's right here around us in some very real sense, and I chose to enter into it permanently. That thought excites me, and I cannot imagine how something like this might come about. Obviously, this dream carried some symbolic scenes, like my experiences with the backhoe, for example. But those symbolic scenes were intended to present a profound message. A message that said, anything is possible in the higher vibrational energy of the new earth. Your thoughts and your intents become manifested quickly. And something else I thought was interesting in the dream was the fact that I could go to the edge of the cliff and interact with the people standing in the old earth side if I chose to. I understood that they were all welcome to enter if they wanted, but like I pointed out, most were afraid. And or, they could not bring themselves to leave their current comfort zone. There is absolutely no reason to fear entering into the new earth. It will be a move to anticipate with great excitement. But we must be prepared, mentally physically and spiritually and prepared to release all of our current attachments to the old earth behind. <laughs> 